And welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 2 with Bueno. So I um, decided to take 15 minutes out to work out which way I'm going to go. And I went through the pack looking for the best way to actually generate a nice passive power that doesn't require a lot of attention. So I came up with, there's a couple. I could go through thermal react, uh, thermal expansion and make a couple different type of dynamos or I could go into big reactors, uh, extreme reactors, I'm sorry, um, which is easy to set up and a little bit to maintain um, and then there was advanced generators, never used advanced generators before um, I did see Direwolf actually use them in one of his packs but well, in the latest pack what he's playing is um, Age of Engineering but there's no biodiesel in here so I don't actually know which way to go um, I did look into solar panels from environmental tech but they actually require me to be further in the actual um, pack to unlock as you would say um, so I'm a little bit stumped on which way to go but I remembered that thermal expansion has these but for the life of me, I couldn't work out how to upgrade them because there used to be three different types. So I'm sitting here racking my brain over what to do about it. So And then I did you on it to show me what you can actually do with them. And then it's gone, you could put in here to charge power, okay, you can charge power or drain it out via the dynamo or you can use it. But then it's like here in the enchantment here is a book of holding. I couldn't work out exactly what the book of holding does. It looks like it adds a million RF to whatever I'm going through. Then I remembered you can make these kits to actually upgrade them. Oh great, we need to get into Resident Endar. So I jumped into a single player world and okay I can make these and upgrade them so I was thinking of going through this and upgrading it to height as possible um, so that upgrades the tier so I probably still want to just go through and make these because I can make electrum I can't make signalum yet so I could get this to I think it's 16 million power or 8 million power get it here. Oh, we need to make hardened blocks which is in the induction smelter. So anyway, so I was thinking of going through these. The first one is 2 million, right? Which is half of what is the one down here. But I can upgrade it, should be able to upgrade it to the first one. This one, I just need to make this upgrade kit here through the resident endar, which is bees. Oh my god! I didn't look that far into it and that just slapped me in the face going here have some bees sir! So... and I haven't played bees since regrowth so... it's been a long time. Oh it's been a long time. This is... so I can make a... the easiest way that I can work it out that what I know of in these packs is I could use the generators right here and make a endar generator which will give me power but I can't remember how much power it produces so but I can make a head go ahead and make one of these but the problem is of storing the power so I don't know a way to actually store power except in um, mechanism has it there's battery boxes in tech reborn they're not called battery boxes they're MFCU but they are, you know, they're only 10 million power, but they're way expensive to make. So they're not going to be made. Um, there is immersive engineering where you can make that, the three in there, but the highest one is I've got is 4 million. Or I could do the thermal expansion, which actually upgrades to the max tier of 50 million. So I was thinking of pushing towards that, because that's the only one. I think draconic engineering... Uh, uh, not Draconic, uh, yeah, Draconic. Uh, I spelled that wrong. D R E. I don't even know how to spell Draconic. Draconic, there we go. Now, in this, you can actually make their 
first set of power, but you need to be in Draconic Core, and you need yeah, you you need lots of stuff to get into here. I'm not even close to making any of this, so in the long run, I thought making the thermal expansion one would be the best. Sorry, this one here. Because this gives you 2 million power straight out. Oops, wrong with it. can hold 2 million. But you can upgrade that power by just holding on the spot. The 4 million one that's down here at the moment will do, wherever you are, here, will do fine until I actually get this upgraded to the next level, which you need to enter into here to get refracting beeswax, hardened clay block which is quite easy to make so I oh, keep forgetting you can push backspace on it so this is actually quite easy to make so you don't actually need much to make one of these or oh, platinum I think or oh, actually we need fluxed electron plating to make an energy cell frame so yeah so we're pretty much still gated a little bit until we make A magma crucible. To make a magma crucible, uh, I think it's this one here. We need dawnstone. To enter store, to get dawnstone, we need to enter embers. We can enter embers, but we can't make the stamper or stamp base. So one of the the stamp base requires a bucket. To get a bucket, you all know we need to make a rolling machine. To make a rolling machine, you need two advanced circuits. So, in here, where you make the two, we need palace crystals. We can actually make these, these are quite easy, but we need to make this. Uh, what else is here? Ooh, that's new. Aluminium brass dust, which you just grind down some aluminium brass. That's, that's easy. So, in here, it's just these crystals. We can pretty much get cobalt, which we already have made some. Glue dye we need to make something, a yarn ball which is just string with one of the crystals used. So they're not too bad. Two compressors, a base machine and four four pistons. So we need a heap of their blood orbs and stuff made up. So let's see. To get we need eight here, we need another one for each of them. So that's ten um four, eight, twelve of those crystals made. And that's pretty much it and just a bunch of other stuff. But the difficult one is to get in this bad boy is we know we can get that I know how to get that I, I've got a couple of them is Stardust to get Stardust you need to enter into Astral Sorcery they don't actually tell you to enter well the guy doesn't tell you to enter Astral Sorcery until down here after you've done the digital storage but the digital storage you can't really do because you don't have a huge power buffer. You can make a few of the 4 million uh, power through immersive engineering and you just chain them off of it so it charges up that way. But that's a lot of resources I think. I think you waste quite a bit in doing the HV capacitors. So when you think about it, it's a block of redstone, a block of lead, some aluminium treated, so it's not really that much. But you think about it, in I could probably make two or three of these have 12 million power um, 8 to 12 million in power sure I could run quite a bit of stuff off of it you know but it doesn't give you that burst of energy in the future you are still stuck in the same situation of being gated in by this and you need to upgrade so I was thinking of going the way of making a um, extreme reactors which I can control by redstone. It will turn itself off once it gets a full signal from it. So I was thinking of going through and making myself the rolling machine to get the buckets. Um, yeah, to get the buckets. But for that, I need to make the a couple of a crusher and a couple of other bits and pieces. So this is the way that we have to go at the moment and we actually need two pistons for this a machine block which is easy to make so we'll get making onto that today another uh, empowered restonia crystal so let's go 
So it is. It, the pack is very grindy in the way that you have to make everything, but I don't mind. I am quite enjoying this. I should actually um, set up my. Actually, I'll take them. I should set up the metal former down uh, metal press. So, but um, because I was going to do that originally, but then I got sidetracked and whew, all all hell broke loose. Pretty much, it is just hectic the way that things are done. Because some other ways that you want to go, you can't use that. You can't do much. So yeah, metal press is quite easy to do. It's just two scaffolding, so two scaffolding, one of them. We need one piston, two conveyor belts, and a heavy machine engineering block. So I don't know if I actually got the heavy machine engineering block. No, I don't think I did. So, okay, so we need, we, we, we do need a piston, so we need to actually make a couple of pistons. So let's just make those pistons now. So we'll grab them, so this will give us seven of them, we got three of them, so not too bad of them, we need a couple of more um, of these bricks, so can we just do this, so we can, we'll, we'll make five, or well, actually six, seven, oh wow, um, them away so we want one of them we want some of them we want the knife cutter um, I think it might be my bag yes so we want the redstone eye so we need end up hell redstone and I actually forgot to look at the one that we needed these which are redstone and the ender shards so it's quite a few ender pearls that we need and I don't know oh, let's collect some of them there <laughs> yeah, look at that 26,000 in there already quite high 12 buckets it's just amazing how much we get so we'll just grab two stacks of them turn them into ender pearls so down here they made quite a few but we only need let's let's just grab that many we need some redstone and then we'll turn all them in They went somewhere, didn't they? There we go. We have 19. We could do a red orchard as well to make redstone easier, but we don't have a farm, like as I said. So yeah, we we need to go. So we got 16 of these because we're gonna need these in the future for actually a couple of things. We don't need a chunk loader. Well, actually, we don't really need it. We just need them for these blocks. So that that's fine. We actually need these things here for later use. These are for mechanical users, the solar panel, the lava mill, uh, there should be water, wind, fire, manual mill, a screen, never seen that before, uh, the ender eye, chicken wing ring, <laughs> chicken wing ring, <laughs> that's funny. Um, but yeah, you can go through, there's quite a few things here. Oh, I saw a generator. And then, okay, top half, bottom half. Not too sure what that's about. Might be the way that you run a generator, the rainbow generator now. So you can turn them back into redstone. You can make a redstone plate. Okay, there's a few things in there. Okay, but anyway, we're making uh, other things and we're missing. Uh, what are we missing? Let's have a quick look. Blood orbs, that's right. So, this is why I like to make things in bulk. And look at that, nearly full. 
Sai. Uh. Put all this in here. I'll put that away. That away. Oh, I've got that away. I'll use that and that. So usually I would put hoppers on the side of these, but these don't take that long to do. So. Just quickly do it by hand a few times. See, the only problem is with this is the power. I mean, they regenerate pretty quick. So, and every time I do this, I get one piston. Since I need a couple of pistons, it's okay. Watermill will have to catch up with this, because, well, 50,000 power is actually not really that much, so I will need. I could do it three more times, but meh. So we ended up with seven. That is really good, because. Oh, hello. So you look. So we can make glasses, uh, I don't even know what they're used for, we can do the drill of extra player probe, phantom, some more stuff, leaf eating generator, hmm, okay, that would be handy, the block, the piston, the advanced Chris, uh, things, and then the endar casing, which will be used in later on, it's just there. So it's really not that much, but they're so important, because you need to make um, pistons. So we need stone and cobblestone for this one, which I actually don't have any on me. So we'll just dump them. I should just dump them straight in there, but that's fine. And we don't need sticky pistons, so we'll just ignore them for now. This will give us a nice chunk of them. And we need iron rods, so that's... Two of them. So that's four pistons, but we don't... I'm not making four pistons, I'm only making two at the moment. And then we'll grab that many. So there's our two pistons. Now we need to make a machine case, which is just four iron and a chest. Oh, it gives us four machine blocks. And I'll just grab the rest of the iron due to... And there is our crusher. Let me guess. I do have two. So put that there. Bam. And there is our crusher. Yay! Now we need to put wool in this damn thing. So, well, usually by now I have, would have done, fixed this up and pushed it out and turned this into the mob farm for spiders and endermen and stuff like that which I might do off camera because I don't think you want to see me like pushing uh, you know just building a chunk out that way so because what I'll do is I'll actually cut all this out and I'll move it back up to here so the side comes and actually pumps back into here so it can all join up into here so it'll probably a pipe will go underneath and round and in and then it will pump the excess whatever's left over in here because we want endar pearls, we want strings, spider eyes and what else, whatever else drops from here so I'll tear that down between episodes because you won't want to see me do that, that would be boring and I will push it out this way and I will build the outside of it um, and I will probably record me building the inside so you can see how big it is and yeah um, 
Well, that looks full. So yeah, um, that looks good. That is good. Well, actually, that will fill that up, and then it will stop. And so the blood can come back in. So this is full. So I should actually make a block of gold because that actually takes forty thousand blood, and this will give me the next tier of promise. And that's 160,000 blood in there. So, uh, here. And we'll let that run. I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, because you can see it bubbling. Yep, so that will take a little while. Once that's done, I'll come back. Um, but we need string. And a hell of a lot of string. I mean, a hell of a lot of string. The good thing is, I have this. Right? Because we need to make blue blue wool and the way around it that I worked because before you didn't have botania and you had to use lapis I think it was to make blue wool uh, blue wool so yeah lapis blue dye or binny stuff floral powder so there was a couple of them or did I actually make it through no not that way uh, Silent Gems, Gem Industry, Minecraft, Extra, no. Binnies was through bees. Botania, Blue Dye, Silent Gems. So, there was one way that you make it anyway. I'm pretty sure it was through that. But you need to make heap of string. So, it's back to getting a heap of string. So, yeah, as I said, usually I had it hooked up through the mob farm because my old mob farm was the same as this but it was taller and they had a cobweb in the middle halfway down to slow them down. But this, it's pretty much the same anyway and between both of them they were doing excellent in mob generation. So I'll go back to get that one up and running. The good thing of restarting the map, you get to enjoy my voice and I'm, I'm telling you things and showing you how bad am I am at Minecraft. So, and they must have updated um, uh, inventory tweaks because it's not glitching anymore so far. We'll see when it switches over again, but it is actually switching correctly and it's not getting stuck, so it's not picking up. The only other thing is I've noticed is it dumps some weird recipe or an extra item in recipes, which doesn't bother me that much. So. Now I've got a heap of string. Right, we can turn four of these into 64 wool, which you actually need a full stack to make it a little bit easier. Now, I do have lapis, but I'm going to go the route of duplicating these because these duplicate really quickly and really, really easily. The only other things I need to do is I need to use some dirt wherever I put it. There we go. I need to make... Actually, I can do it over there. Do I know? So, put the dirt back. And I'll put the extra seeds away. <laughs> I'll put them away, alright. And see this? It's making more impregnated sticks. And... Impregnated sticks is what you need for casings and stuff, so it's given me a really good head start in it. So, um, I'll take that one back. So I'll just clear up my inventory quickly. Uh, yeah, I'll put them away. Put them away. Now they can go away. I want them so that yep that's pretty much it I just want some bone meal now I want to get me 64 of these see we are coming along nicely with our little animal farm look at this I just need some sheep oh I got one so that's good enough for now is one but I need two to duplicate them and I also want to squish it to cow and you're like why do you want to squish a cow a pretty cow because you turn it into a, um, a cow in a jar and with the cow in a jar you use it for your blockheads recipes 
uh, in, or in, not with blockhead recipes, but for your food recipes through blockheads, and it gives you free milk. So, we want to do that. Because we get free milk that way, and we don't have to bucket it out or anything, and we can make everything for food in there. And it makes a hell of a lot easier. And we are missing. Oh, I actually need more than 64. I don't really need more than 64. But there we go, we got four extra. So. I don't know how to put a cow, uh, not a cow, a chicken in there. I was thinking of putting it on top of the fridge and actually just like piping it straight into the fridge for the eggs because they can be automatically converted over and yeah. Uh, we'll have a good laugh of that later. So we, oh, uh, oh that's right, we need to turn it into floral powder, don't we? Uh, that requires, um, yeah, this bowl. I think it was made this way. Nope. Is it made through this? Yes, so that wasn't the updated recipe. And then here, here, and uh. good thing about that is you can convert it back. And there is our pestle and mortar, and then you here, and then you convert that. Really annoys me how long it takes to do that. So there is our blue wool. Misclicked on that. So with our blue wool, we can come over and we whack it in here. The only way I know to get this. Now there are speed upgrades, but you need to go into extra utilities to get their power generation of some sort. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, quick drink break so we will be entering into the start of getting palace crystals I mean powered palace crystals or power whatever they're called anyway so that's the first part of that we need to enter and do um, because we really need a rolling machine that that's what we're aiming for so you gotta get that. So, oops. Just making a note in my notepad to actually start on what I need to do. Because if I start something, I usually get sidetracked and end up doing something completely different what I'm meant to be doing. So, yeah, we have to go through and get the extra utilities to blue dye so we'll let that run it will take a while, uh, a while so hopefully it doesn't break or get clogged up I have seen it do that for unknown reasons so that can go back in here so I, I said I was gonna start do the tinkerers one so it makes oops makes it a hell of a lot easier to repair your stuff I can automate this whole entire system of placing and picking up of stuff of that there. In my regrowth one, oh my god, I made this awesome automated system um, through redstone, block of redstone, uh, no, what was it? No, a piston with redstone and the stone going through some hoppers and counting down and when it hit full it flick it over to the other side and rinse and repeat and it was like two stacks and you should just tuck a full stone or drop all of them, pick them all up, convert it all around. It was really good. I missed that map. I really should play that one again. So, But I would like to play a co-op with some people but I really want smart people that know what they're doing. A lot of the time when I play with people, they just, they join and then they take advantage of the system and, yeah, there's my gold promise. <laughs> so, one day I'll find a couple of people to play with. I mean, not I mean, there's one couple of people that I did used to play with that were really good at the game, uh, but they decided Minecraft became crap and didn't like it, so they quit. 
and it was all over because of they couldn't handle the graphics and as I said in a lot of the older packs there the graphics have already been developed and all work so just some of them need to be upgraded or fixed and he didn't want to, or they didn't want to play there was two of them that I used to play with quite a bit but we no more so but I still play that's all that matters isn't it um, we are actually out of glass um, didn't I have uh, there's two there I'm pretty sure I had more glass left over What am I cooking up anyway? Tin, so that's alright. Back that in. Oh, we're nearly out completely. How many have I got down here? 57. So. Okay, so. Let's have a quick look. I know I'm running around like a headless chook, but there, see, it already stopped. So I think I might put a servo and pipe to pull out on that. So we don't have any servos, which is always a shame because I always seem to need the damn things. So And back to actually needing glass. I wonder if I could use clear glass in a servo. Let's check. And there's my glass that I was going to use. So put them in there. And I'll need redstone actually. There. And two iron. I know I keep making the lower ones, but these are. Oh, I can use clear glass in it. Nice. Um, and I'll need a chest. But these, these ones are. They don't need to be that massively in uh, powered because they'll just keep working. I don't know if you actually need it or it will output by itself but I doubt it. Most items require something to pull it out of unless it's in uh, IO. So this should actually pull out quick enough. Yep. So this will pull out everything that gets in here. It won't clog it but it will keep going. So and as I mentioned in the past in one of the other videos, the witches are the ones that survive. So, yeah, they keep throwing stuff down. And they have unlimited weapons, which kind of sucks. But they generate every time they get hit, I think, as well. So it doesn't matter either way. Anyway, so I was making... What was I making again? Um... Oh, it's at the wrapping up point in time. I was too excited. So another just run around and small upgrades and and telling you which way I'm going to go. So we will get there eventually on the way, but I'll record another episode. So I will have a lot more to pump out. I'm doing more. I'm recording more than I'm putting out in a week. So I may release one or two episodes. Uh, or not. I will, I will release one episode a day, but I may do... Uh, two or three on a week so I may release two on a Monday and an extra two on a Friday just just to, to keep you go to keep you up a little bit so just to keep it changing a little I might even change the days around and or you know something we'll, we'll see how it goes anyway this is the end of the episode um, so thanks for watching and have fun and I'll catch you later in the next episode